my talk today is on the K element, the clay mineral. So the formation of ribose, RNA sugar, in the early years, the foremost reaction is a potential, uh, make a potential reaction to form ribose in the uh, reaction. But ribose is not the final product of the foremost reaction. Here, it's a, ribose is a member of pentose. Many different pentose present. Ribose forms in the foremost reaction, but it's just intermediate. By the process of the reaction, the ribose is consumed and decomposed into poly polymerized brown material. The ribose, among all the pentoses, ribose is rather uh, unstable material. So these two points are major problem in the formation of accumulation of ribose on the early Earth. Better's group uh, found that uh, borate and so uh, borate can bind to uh, ribose and stabilize in the foremost reaction. So we also find that uh, different borate concentration solution provide different stability of ribose. So how borate accumulated on the early years? There is a, a hot discussion whether uh, Hadean Earth was uh, uh, whether the content present of the Hadean Earth, but the auction isotope evidence of the Zirkin uh, found in uh, North, Western Australia suggests the presence of granitic uh, crust at that time. And here, this figure shows a proto Earth model. This is a one possible explanation for the formation of uh, granite crust at that time. When we, when we suppose the proto earth model, it, uh, we, it is reasonable that the concentra concentrated borate uh, will present around the basin or oceans around the proto earth. The free deep free extract borum from mafic rocks and charge the borate around the borate <coughs> basin in the oceans. But how about uh, silicate minerals? Silicate minerals always present around the borate and of course surface of the earth. And it is not clear silicate minerals helps and disturb the improved of the borate stability of ribose by borate. Okay. k uh, is a clay mineral, alumina silicate. And k and alumina is known to catalyze the foremost reaction. In uh, 1967, that was proposed. And at that time, the, the product was not analyzed uh, in detail. So the kaolinite is uh, composed of bilayer stacking of bilayer alumina and silica. And the surface charge of the kaolinite is neg negative under neutral and high pH. So this is a, a SCM image of the kaolinite uh, uh, particle. So we tested the stability of ribose and uh, different borate uh, concentration solution with scale in IP. On your left hand, uh, this is the borate experiment in borate free solution. The ribose, uh, we started 10 millimolar ribose in uh, 25 degrees C, uh, alkaline conditions. And the concentration of ribose decreased exponentially with elapsed time. In 40 millimolar borate solution, the decreased slope was much uh, shallow, much slow. And this, of course, means the borate stabilized ribose. But uh, when we add 500 milligrams of kaolinite in that solution, the decreased slope became much more shallower. And in both cases, with uh, borate and without borate, this uh, showed that kaolinite has uh, improved the stability of ribose 
in alkaline uh, solution. So we want to help this uh, stabilization to happen and analyze the concentration of silicon and aluminum in the final solution in both experiments. The concentration is uh, quite lower than the concentration of uh, the ribose. <coughs> so this suggests that mineral kaolinite itself, rather than dissolve the silicate and aluminate, works to stabilize ribose. So next, we did experiment. We did actual foremost reaction. So left hand showed the uh, results of yield of pentosis in the foremost reaction. These chemicals are all, all of them are pentose, different uh, comp different compounds, but the same composition, isomers. So we started the uh, reaction from. 100 millimolar formaldehyde, 10 millimolar glycolaldehyde, and alkaline pH, pH uh, temperature 60. So the pentose is formed quickly in 55 minutes, and also quickly decreased in the with the lapse time. Uh, with kaolinite, 5 milligrams of kaolinite, the pentose is form also quickly, but the decrease is uh, much slower than the foremost, simple foremost reaction. So even in the foremost reaction, kaolinite uh, improved the stability of ribose. Here, the left panel is the same as previous. The right panel, we add borate in the uh, kaolinite solution. So here we can see much more, uh, uh, much more uh, st stabilized of <coughs> ribose rather than just kaolinite. But we, there are two major uh, pentoses here. These are branched pentoses. The branched pentoses is uh, the formation of branched pentoses is promoted <coughs> by the addition of borate. This is consistent and proposed report by the in 2010 Kimeno, and but the ribose is uh, much more stabilized than kaolinite itself. So, and remember that the kaolinite is proposed to that to uh, catalyze a foremost reaction. So we did experiment. Uh, with, uh, under neutral conditions, uh, kaolinite catalyzed the foremost reaction. So here, we just start, just mixed the uh, formaldehyde and acetaldehyde with kaolinite and incubated. So as expected, the kaolinite catalyzed the foremost reaction. And surprisingly, the kaolinite promoted the formation of ribose selected among of the different uh, different pentosis. <coughs> Here, this uh, is a result. Where we add borate. So the once more uh, kaolinite uh, uh, ribose concentration is rather high, but branched pentosis are uh, formed also in the borate experiment. But in this experiment, the concentration yields of branched pentosis are uh, comparable level to the yield of ribose. So the kaolinite catalyzed the foremost reaction without any cations and alkalines in the neutral conditions. Okay. The summary, the summary, uh, kaolinite and boric work separately and together to improve the stability of ribose under alkaline conditions. And kaolinite into the stability of many pentoses in the alkaline foremost reaction. But neutral, but under neutral, kaolinite catalyzed the foremost reaction and selectively promoted ribose synthesis. Thank you. <coughs>